Boys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be looking at the objectives team of the season Sabitza. Now, I've been asked to do other players, like to review other players, but I really like just looking at these objectives cards because it means everyone can go out and get them because they're free. So, I'm just going to stick to these for now, just for anyone who's wondering. When you open up the card, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, high high weight weight, 5 foot 10. Things are looking good barring the 3 star skill moves, as I'm sure you know by now, that is always a big turn off for me. And just for this video by the way, I'm going to be rocking him at striker, because I want to be able to get the best out of him, you know, really try him, try his shooting, dribbling, so it just makes sense to put him at striker, and I can get him in the team on full chem. Anyway, to take a look at his stats real quick. I have applied a Hawk chemistry style because I put Hawk on almost everybody. That puts him up to 90 pace overall, 92 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. Gives him 93 finishing, 99 positioning, 99 shot power. Um, he has 84 composure for dribbling, 84 agility, 90 balance, 94 reactions, 89 dribbling. And let's just be honest about it, boys. Greens all over this card. His strength goes up to 89 with the Hawk chemistry style. So it looks like he could play striker. And it looks like he could play pretty much anywhere. But let's not judge him just off the stats. Let's go into the highlights and see if this card is worth getting. So I wanted to put this goal in first because this is probably the best goal that I scored with him. And I just needed you all to see this. Show you what the guy's capable of. Bang. Lovely finesse shot into the top corner. And if that goal alone doesn't tell you my feelings on the card, he is fantastic. Definitely, definitely, definitely the best team of the season card they've dropped so far as an objective. What, where do we even begin? Quick, yep, he's got that. Shooting, like the stats suggested, his shooting is fantastic. Four star weak foot feels every single bit of that four star. Look at just the finishing, the shot power. It was 99 shot power with the Hawk chemistry style and 93 finishing. It showed the 84 composure, which I'm not exactly sure if that's good. I don't think, I think it's all right um, compared to other players. I think it's just all right. But you've got to remember he's not an out-and-out -out striker. I was just deploying him at striker for the sake of getting him on chem and getting the best out of him for the video. But yeah, great shot, quick. Obviously his dribbling's good, you know, 5'10". The smaller players on this FIFA in particular work so much better for dribbling than the big players and 5'10 is a perfect height for it. It's perfect for me because I actually don't like the 5'7, 5'8 players. I think they're a bit too small, don't seem to have any strength about them. This guy's got like 89 strength on his guard, 5'10 can dribble, he can do a bit of everything. And here he is getting an assist, plays a ball through to Mares. his passing was no problem again because he's obviously a midfielder. And he has 91 on his actual card stat. His passing is 91. But for the actual in games, it's like 93 short passing, 86 long passing, 86 crosses, 94 vision. The long story short is that the guy can do everything. So if you've got some sort of Bundesliga team or you've got icons you can get him in with, then you want to be going out and getting this card. Here he goes again, just another easy finish. Quite frankly, you can play him up front if you want to. He works. He really did work. The three star skill moves is the only weakness, I would say. Again, for me, someone who likes to do a lot of skills. Well, not a lot, but I do like to use skill moves. And it's basically four star skill moves minimum for me. But really, barring that, this guy has got no negatives to him whatsoever. You can get good links with him. You can hybrid him in with like Timo Werner because obviously they play, both play for uh, Leipzig. So yeah, just genuinely the best card we've used so far. If you've got some, if you've got a team that you can fit him in, go and get him. If you've got like a cheap team, so only a few hundred K, go and get him and then put him in your team and make your team work for him to fit because he's really good. And then as for trading him in, you can go and get him to trade in. But he actually took me quite a while to get. Um, he's not as easy as some of the other ones have been, which you would expect for a 92 Sabitzer. But if you want to go get him, just trade him in. Of course you can, but there's definitely easier players to get, or there has been, than this one. Anyway, boys, that is going to do it from me. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. We will be back again tomorrow with Top 100 Squad Battle Rewards.
as of recording, I think I'm still in first. So hopefully no one comes and overtakes us last minute. We can hold on to first, but either way, if it's first, second, third, fourth, the video will be out tomorrow morning. Thank you so, so much for watching, boys. Cheers.